The last state dinner of the Obama administration was held last night at the White House. President and Ms. Obama made a grand entrance at the event. It honored the Prime Minister of Italy. Atlanta Goldman is at the White House, where the gala was not entirely a social occasion. Juliana, good morning. Good morning. Well, it was a bittersweet night for the Obamas with their final state dinner, and the president actually said he saved the best for last, pulling out all the stops for paisans and pasta and even some politics on the side. We're reminded that American democracy has been graced by the touch of Italy. With a not so subtle nod to the political climate, President Obama noted Italy's mark on America. We look up at the dome of the U.S. Capitol and marvel at the touch of Bromidi. Then again, some days our presidential campaigns can seem like Dante's Inferno. The election wasn't off limits for the Italian prime minister either. When they go low, we go high. During his toast, Matteo Renzi said Mrs. Obama's recent takedown of Donald Trump was not lost in translation. I know, Michelle, uh, your tomatoes are great, but after the last weeks, let me be very frank, your speech are better than your tomatoes. Thank you so much as prime minister, but thank you so much also as father of a younger daughter. The Obamas have hosted 13 dinners in eight years, including two with China. President George W. Bush held only 11 state dinners, but they were both eclipsed by President Bill Clinton, who hosted 28. And last night, President Obama reflected on his own legacy and shared memories from his last visit to Rome. I had the opportunity to visit the Colosseum. And as I walked across those ancient stones worn by the history of 2,000 years, uh, it was a humbling reminder of our place here on Earth. In the grand sweep of time, each of us is here only for a brief moment. What matters is what we leave behind, the things that will endure long after we are gone. Finally, let's talk about that dress. Uh, the First Lady chose to wear an Italian designer, and she glittered in a floor-length gown in rose gold uh, by Versace. Ah, it was a beautiful dress indeed. Juliana, thank you. And how about the Italian prime minister with the lines there? He was funny. He was very funny.